We're Jazz and Crystal. This is Bella and Izzy. We've been living full time in our off-grid van for two years. Right now we're in the middle of a Canadian winter, exploring when we can but keeping busy during lockdown by making our home on wheels the best it can be. Join us as we do it ourselves and bring our dreams to life. Subscribe to our channel and join the pack. Good morning vlog. Today is moving day. Looking for that light in the shadow Always been wandering through darkness Oh, just in time. Jasmine, Bella, and Izzy are back from their walk. Hello! How was your walk? How was your walk, girls? Did you have a good walk? Lots of friends uh, today. Yeah? <laughs> Who'd you see? I don't know their names. What's it like out there? Cold, gray. Cake for breakfast? <laughs> Cause it's moving day! Yep, and that didn't happen overnight. We took to Instagram, the internet, and even made a few phone calls. Hey, I heard that you have a place for rent. Is it still available? We picked up our tools from Graham's and of course had a little visit, got our materials, and before we knew it, we had the keys. Well, <laughs> we have all of our tools, all of the supplies to head to our new space, but I'm gonna see what Jazzy thinks about getting a car wash first because this van is dirty and it's covered in winter salt and that's just gonna make us rust even more so and I think it's about time we give her a bath. So, fingers crossed for me. Maybe I sound crazy because I want to wash the van, but it's so satisfying and I'm sure a lot of you agree with me. <laughs> Let's see if Jazzy wants to do it today. Jazzy! Yeah? What do you think about going for a car wash before we go? I mean, it's probably a smart idea. Do I want to do it? No, but will I do it? Yes. Woohoo! We got a yes. That's all I need. <laughs> oh, you're doing all the work. Are you in your glory? <laughs> And Bella's in her glory too. <laughs> Anyone else is Aussie do this? We're clean, we're packed, and we're off to see our new space. You're probably wondering what the heck are you doing in a shop and what could you possibly renovate on the van? But the truth is that as we rebuilt our kitchen, built a shower, upgraded our electrical system, we started to notice that everything else in the van just wasn't looking quite up to par with the work that we had just done. And in fact, it was actually quite the opposite. It needed some TLC and it's kind of falling apart in a way. <laughs> Since we built a shower, we had to plumb it. This looks hideous. I can basically pull up all our flooring in our whole house. Mold's gonna grow if we don't fix this. Who built this van? <laughs> we're still amateurs, but we were even more amateurs our first build. This entire thing is not functioning anymore. Plus, it feels a little claustrophobic now. So many high things to the roof. It's gotta go. This van has been our house full time for the last two years. It is without a doubt that these things are bound to happen. Looking around, we quickly realized that we needed to put the work in, so we finally have a great space to do it. And 
The best part about this as well is it is one of the coldest, harshest months in Canada and this is going to give us the time and the space to put our minds to something, to get our hands to work and distract us from all of the roads that we can't drive right now and work on our home so that way when we can drive we will be ready and our van will be in tip-top condition to do so. Oh yes, so <laughs> we are at the moment in a stay-at-home order. I didn't mention that. So we are ordering everything curbside and this is just the perfect opportunity because we can't go anywhere and you have to stick to your region to work on our home. So we're gonna be proactive and we're gonna get to work. So this is three feet nine inches. We were just trying to figure out how to put these together, wood glue, because we don't have like the big clamps. And then we thought about our friend Craig pulling that side, Krista. Yeah, it's so good. Like, you can play tug of war. Just like one screw. So Get it, gonna... doggy. Pardon? <laughs> I feel like Excuse I'm... me. Um, <laughs> this is good though. It's great. Because before we would like put wood on here and like screwed it all in and it just Yeah, didn't... it looks really ugly. I'll go yeah. show you. Not this time. of this week's episode is Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens is packed with 75 highly absorbable vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients, and is one of the most nutritionally complete products on the market. It was created by doctors, naturopaths, and nutritionists. It's paleo, keto, and vegan friendly. One easy scoop each morning supports your energy levels, immunity, recovery, digestion, and stress. Starting each day with Athletic Greens makes it easy to get high quality nutrients on a daily basis. This has never been more important, especially during these winter months.
I've now been taking Athletic Greens every morning before coffee for over a month. It's the first thing I do each day and it really kickstarts my day, knowing that before breakfast, I have all the fuel that my body needs for the day. What I love about Athletic Greens is it contains a wide variety of superfoods, healing mushrooms, prebiotics, and probiotics without the need of taking multiple products. If you haven't tried Athletic Greens, I encourage you to try it with me each morning as I dance and sing through the kitchen about how healthy I feel when I take it. Get your green shake em up, chug em up, feeling good. Get your green shake em up, chug em up, feeling good. <laughs> And if you click the link in the description, you will get a year's supply of vitamin D and five travel packs. Need this today. Back to work. Yesterday, we got right to work as we were just so excited to have a full day in the shop. We ended up finishing off the structure that will be replacing the pantry and the electrical cabinet. We sanded it, Jasmine made doors for it, and today we are gonna move forward with that structure and then start to do the demolition and put it in the van hopefully today. So I, I totally noticed this morning that I'm like, I don't even know if we updated the vlog yesterday and told them what we did. So I'm telling you now. <laughs> We were working hard yesterday, and we're gonna do the same today. <laughs> Not a bad looking structure, um, but it's ready for some paint, so I better get ready to start painting. Okay, the doors are gray washed or pickled, whatever you want to call it. And I saw this little trick on uh, YouTube where you take like a wire brush and then you grind it on your wood and then it's gonna all look like that old barn wood that we're doing the design with. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm gonna try it out. It seemed pretty fun. I'll start with the back, I think, and then see if we like it. Maybe give a little hand sand as well just to get it looking nice. And then we might need another coat, depending on how this turns out. Crystal's at the hardware store, so hopefully she approves of this. That's what it looks like all rustic-y, and that's just the gray wash. It just seems so flat, the gray wash, compared to this. This is much more our style. Wow. So happy with how that turned out. Hello, here. Come look at this. Over there. Yeah, that's amazing. You like it? That looks super good. That's the finished one. That looks super, super good. Like, Are you serious? It's drastic, like how different those two look. I know. You pay for premium pine and then you make it look 100 years old. That's honey. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Like that. Looks I just feel like it doesn't look good. flat. Like that. Look. That one looks like flat. This one looks really good. I'm glad you like it. No, that looks amazing. Because like, I was only I, gonna do one, and then I was like, I think she'll like it. I'm just gonna do it. Like they like sell that at like Home Depot now or a Home Depot or whatever. Like. Do you want me to do both distress? sides? Like the inside too? Like I did on that one. It's so nice. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I love it. I think you should do the inside. All right. Go in there just for you. Just guess what else I want to do. All of our overheads like this. Same. It's really nice. Perfect. Like super, super nice. I'm okay. really impressed. Wow, and like so simple, eh? Dinner time, then back to work? Yes. All in a day's work. Some sweet doors to go on a beautifully painted pantry. I got it right this time. Not, it's not a kitchen. So, do you want to demolish? Are you all up for it? It's pretty late right now. But like, we stay up till one anyways. We might as well do something. 
Yes or no? What do you think? I want it. Let's do it. Time to demolish! You love a good demo, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of breath, though. Wow, pays to get a good one, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Thank gosh you got that. It's gonna help us so much. Damn! Just demolish the whole thing now. Alright. <laughs> What'd you find in the cupboard? A pixie stick. <laughs> Do I look crazy right now? Yeah. I'm local for my pixie sticks. <laughs> Grammy. Grammy keeps lots of these in. <laughs> you know, here and there I take one and hide it in the cupboard. Take one? Here we are. <laughs> So open, thank Solid gosh. Dust we need to cut the structure so that it fits around it perfectly. And what tool are we gonna use? The multi-tool. Oh. Get your glasses on. I love that thing. Good morning! Hi everyone! How are we awake? Well, I don't know because we were out till 3 a.m. But <laughs> look at our new pantry. Woo! Yeah, so this is the new structure. Um, it has shelves. Everything's looking really good. And I love the way that it's opened the space. Like this morning we woke up and we were like, whoa, like it's just so open in here. So it's already feeling super good to like have more of an open concept. Yes. And we will be putting a counter on here oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and fixing all that. Yeah, so this is gonna be really cute in the end. It's not TV spray foam and like it's an old door. Yeah, but actually, I did want to mention that we were actually able to use a lot of the old wood from the pantry. Yeah, um, to repurpose it for the shelves and the inside and the back and all that. Um, yeah, we didn't want to bore you all with building shelves again, but yeah. I can show you it in here. So we have a spice rack, coffee shelf, all for big items dog yeah. food everything i love it i'm so happy with it agreed and it makes it not so cluttery before we just like throw stuff in that big pantry because we could but now yeah it's amazing we're that the whole pantry is in this yeah how do we even do that well first of all we went through like a lot of our things like <laughs> we're getting more minimal which is good because we didn't need the storage we had before i don't know how we did it but check it out <laughs> But guess what? It's Friday. Yeah, it is and Friday. And <laughs> it's the end of the week. So with that, we will see you all next Sunday. Yeah, thanks for watching. And we're going to start building. See you Sunday. Ciao. Ciao. Pause up. Pause up. Pause up. She gave me two paws up. She did? And so should all of you. No, we look good. <laughs> Thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this week's video, and if you'd like to try it, head on over to the description and click the link.